Hey oh, it's Omni Dog here from Omni Dog's Vault. All you good Omni Dogs and Omni Kittens out there, what up? Uh, this is going to be an overview of Captain Marvel, Janice, Janice Vell by Peter David. And please remember organic price books. My code, $2 off, code Omni Dog. And 5% off shipping four more books together with code Omni Dog. Ship it together. Right on organic price books. Now, I know a lot of things. I know a little bit about a lot of things in comics. There is something I know nothing about, and that is this character. <laughs> Those of you out there who have been waiting for this, I think that's great. Those of you out there who think you might want this, this overview is for you because I'm going to show you everything that's going on in this book. I don't know this character at all, but it's Peter David, so... Uh, oh, what a goose I am, which I think is pretty funny. That's the battle cry. Wait, let me read it here. So to get you informed, finally embracing his father's legacy as the new Captain Marvel in the wake of the epic Avengers Forever. And who idea, whose idea was that cry? That would be Rick Jones, the ultimate superhero sidekick with whom Genesis is now bonded on a molecular level, able to hear each other's thoughts and trade places by clanging the powerful negabands. Okay, I do know that term. They wear on their wrists. They're out to protect Earth the only way they can. But getting used to their situation and what it means for their lives will take time and there are sure to be some teething problems. So it's bad news that Captain Marvel must go toe-to-toe -to -toe with, pow toe -to -toe with powerhouses like Wendigo, the Hulk, Drax, and the Super Scroll right out of the gate. Okay, so Rick Jones is bonded with Captain Marvel, and I do know the Negabands. So, yes, admittedly, this overview is as much for me as it is for anybody out there. But that's part of the fun of comics, is finding out what's going on. The ultimate buddy team. Okay. Peter David has a good track record with me, anyway. Uh, I've, a lot of his stuff I have found to be very... Oh, cool. Very um, grounded in Marvel Comics, what's going on at the time. Uh, it, so his stuff is, has a good sense of being in continuity. He also has a good sense of humor, so but it never gets so light that you lose focus and don't keep uh, your idea that the superhero thing is going on. He doesn't rip you out of it with his humor. It helps add a little bit of levity to what is, of course, a very serious situation, and that is superheroes, because we take our, take our superheroes seriously here. Okay, so here is the table of contents. Everything written by Peter David. Fabian Nicieza wrote issue 14 with him. So we've got two uh, renumbered things, one through 35, and then one through 25. So you've got over 60 issues in here. That's a lot. Um, and so we'll start since we both... Um, we, we both, we all need to learn about this as best we can. So, fortunately, there is, right after the beginning, I noticed there was a little rundown, the history of Rick Jones and Captain Marvel. So this gives, will get us up to date. Nice. Oh, I recognize that. That's some Gil Kane stuff going on. And so that helps us on to the first issue. From the pages of Avengers Forever, A Hero Reborn. I have that book. So it won't take much for me to figure it out. I think. Let's just gaze upon the cool, very cool. Actually, I'm really digging the, the way these uh, title pages are. So Hulk's in one of these issues. Oh, Moondragon's in this. I recognize her. Wendigo, Wendigo. I recognize Wendigo. 
Okay, Wendy goes with the Hulk there. And he's cosmically aware. I recognize that term. So we got some stuff we can work with. There's Moon's Dragon again, so that's cool. Golden Orange Comics, okay. That's funny. Uh, I'm going to want to read that. Anything bringing in comic book stores is funny to me. So this is going to be for those of you who are interested and very much uh, cosmically aware. You want Marvel cosmic stuff, more Marvel cosmic stuff in your life. And this is the place where you're going to get it. Marvel cosmic. Oh, Silver Surfer, you can't get much more comic cosmic than these guys. So... You got, I know, Moon Dragon, and I haven't seen Drax yet, but Drax is coming in up here. There's a scroll there. I don't know what these people are yelling about, but I still dig the lettering here. Well, of course, that looks like Wonder Woman to me, but that's we're in the Marvel verse, so. Oh, good. Back to Golden Orange Comics. Okay, we got Thor. Okay, wait a sec. Something looks different here. Jim Starlin and Al Milgram. When did they? Wait a minute. Okay, this is cool. Got Thor, Thanos. Needs to go to the beach guy. I don't know what's happening here, but it all looks pretty boss. can't remember. Did we look at the binding? Let's look at the binding here. Since we're almost at the middle of the book, let's flare that out. Okay, binding looks good. Gutter loss, acceptable. Let's see about the gutter loss here. Well, that's the beginning of a, like a 1100 page book or so. Wait, there's another comic book store in here? Uh, hmm, I kind of dig that. Okay, so that's not too bad at all for gutter loss. Okay, that's nice. And oh, we're back in the comic book store. I like it when they're on the ground. If they're going to the comic book store, that's for me, man. So Mood Dragon plays a big part in this. That's cool, because I've always dug her. I don't I don't think I have an action figure of her though. That looks cool. Oh what a goose I am. These are cool covers. Actually, let me go back to the very beginning. Let's, you know, we don't have numbered pages, but that's okay. I will forgive it. Let's see what years, uh, 1999 and 2002. Okay, that's good to know. So late 90s, early 
aughts, as they're called, 2000s. The artwork is cool. Wait, let's take a... Whoa! Oh, the artist must have had fun doing this. But who is the artist here? This is really nice. Medina. Well, I would like to read this story, this particular story, just for the art. This is kind of letting the artist go crazy, which I dig. Very creative. Oh, Spidey, what are you doing in here? So we've got really interesting art and Peter David's writing and a buddy comedy in one body. So actually I like this art too. I think I can see why people really like this. Looks this looks like it's pretty darn imaginative and well done. So let's see what we have for extras here. Let's see, I don't want to spoil it, so I'll try not to do the last page. Oh, no, Captain Marvel dies. Oh, wait, that's not a spoiler. Everybody knows that already. Or do they? Where is the end? What's happening here? Okay, so plot points. Concept artwork. Thanatos. It's easy to mix up that with Thanos. That's kind of a obvious observation, I guess. Not a whole lot in terms of extras, but this is a chonky beast. Let's see. It is 150. Yeah, I think some of these bigger guys like this when they're like over 11 1200 pages when they got 60 issues and stuff that's where you're probably going to see that price point but you know to go other places for them don't you find them less than that organic price books two dollars off on code omni dog five percent off shipping four more books together omni dog ship it together so Thank you for tuning in and watching this. I think we all learned a little something today. Captain Marvel, Janice Vell, very interesting looking book. I'd like to read a little bit more in there. It's quite interesting. I, I really dug the art and I know Peter David's a good writer. So um, I think this is worth it for you cosmic, cosmic comic buffs out there. So peace and love. Please hit the like button. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment if you wish. Peace and love. Peace and love. Thank you for watching Omni Dogs Vault. The overview, Captain Marvel, Janice Val. Oof. Wow.